How much does ChatGPT actually know about Upland? We've devised a set series of prompts and we're going to ask ChatGPT seven different topics and answer over 20 different questions to see how much it really knows about Upland. And can you use this for advice in the game? Challenge one, Upland basics. Explain what Upland is and its core concept. Okay, so it's got virtual properties, NFTs in the blockchain, real world economy, um, property development can increase the property's value and potential earning capacity. Yep. Trading and market. Yep. Uh, community, social interaction, collaboration among other players. Yeah. I mean, kind of. They've just added Upland in-game chat, so that's only more so true now. They were relying on other parties before, like Discord, Reddit, and so on. Limited supply. I aim to offer immersive experience that combines gaming. Well done, Upland, on the first question. Can you describe the in-game currency used in Upland and its purpose? It nailed up it's pretty quickly. Collecting rent, interactions, missions, special purchases. Um, so we're going to give it a one yes and then a one no. Next question. Name three major virtual cities within Upland and the unique features. New York City, San Fran, and Chicago are true. San Francisco property market is often highly competitive, making them a challenge. Oh, that is, honestly, this is very true information. Uh, very competitive market. Um, rewarding city for property trading. It is. It is quite. Please keep in mind that Upland is an ever-involving platform, and new cities and features may have been introduced since my last update. Okay. Well, I'm going to give it a yes on this one, and no on number two, and a yes on number one. So it's going to be two to one at the moment for round one. Challenge two, Upland gameplay features. So we're going to list all five types of properties that players can own in Upland. And we're also going to get it to explain how property development and collections work in Upland. See how it does. Residential, correct. Commercial, correct. Landmarks, correct. Specialty, correct. Uh, maybe some yellows. Industrial, eh. I mean, yeah, we have industrial sectors, I guess, where people will build way more factories than residential. So I guess, in, in other words, this is correct, too. This is not quite the answer I was looking for. Um, but well done to ChatGPT still for coming up with his own answer and still making it fit the idea. Property development in Upland. Players can develop virtual properties by adding structures, businesses, and other improvements. Essential for increasing property value. Collections in Upland are a feature that allows players to group together a set of properties based on specific themes or attributes. Very true. Collections centered around properties with historical significance, as we've seen uh, with New York Historic in Manhattan, so it is very true. Additionally, owning all properties in a specific neighborhood can form a collection. This is not true. I'm not sure where it's got this data from. However, now players setting um, a slew of efforts together, so... Um, spark hours of completed structures, home addresses set, and more um, in a specific neighborhood has a chance to make it a collection now that's with neighborhood ratings. Uh, so it does have this wrong, but it's close. It's with everything else right, we might have to give it the point still. Collections vary in difficulty and reward. They often take an extra layer of engagement and challenge to the gameplay, encouraging players to explore different areas of Upland Metaverse and strategically managing their property portfolio, which is very true. I'm going to go ahead and give ChatGPT the point here on both of these. So we're now 5 to 1. But ChatGPT knows it's Upland okay. For our third challenge, we have Upland Technology and Partnerships. So we're going to get it to name the blockchain technology that underpins Upland, i.e. EOS. Mention at least three real-world cities that Upland has partnered with for virtual property representation, i.e. Sao Paulo or Porto. Uh, these are soccer clubs. And uh, Argentina would be another one. Explain how blockchain technology is used to ensure true ownership of virtual properties in Upland. All right. Um... EOSIO. Ah, see, it's even corrected me there because that is the prunk, uh, proper name. Yeah, see, these are false. See, I was looking for Doha, Argentina, Sao Paulo, Porto, uh, all cities that have been brought into Upland specifically due to um, clubs. Actually, though, I, I, I am mistaken. Chicago and any, anything with NFLPA would be um, real world city partnership, but New York City does not have an nfl team um so that again it, it, it's wrong so we can't give it the point there unfortunately um so but it got esio uh eosio real real easy number two struggled with sharing true ownership with the blockchain yeah um it it, it knows for the most part that that was almost a, a useless question just kind of test its its accuracy 
On challenge three, ChatGPT got two right and one wrong. So the score is going to sit at seven to two. Still not a bad track record so far. We're, we are just over 70% success ratio so far. Uh, though again, the questions are only getting harder. So challenge four is gonna be the upland economy and trading. Describe how players can trade properties with one another in upland, explain the concept of upex to USD and how it impacts the upland economy, and name two ways in which players can earn upex within the game. Let's see how you do chat. Property trading in upland, listing properties, browsing listings, making offers, accepting offers, completing the transaction. All correct, to give it the point there. Upex to USD impacts the upland economy refers to the conversion of Upland's in-game currency to UPEX to real-world currency USD. That is correct. The ability to convert UPEX to USD has several implications for the Upland economy. Also correct. Real-world value. When players convert UPEX to USD, it means that UPEX has a real-world value and players can potentially earn real money by playing the game and earning UPEX. That is true. Economic incentives. The ability to cash out UPEX may incentivize more players to engage with the game as they can see it as a way to earn additional income. That is also true. Trading dynamics. The exchange rate between UPEX and USD can influence the property trading dynamics. Players may be more inclined to buy or sell properties based on the perceived value of UPEX in relation to the real world currency. Also true. Player retention. Option to convert USD to UPEX could encourage players' retention. Players may see their virtual properties and earnings as having tangible real-world value. Also true, it's just kind of repeating the same thing. Ways to earn UPEX. Here's the next point. So we're going to give it the point there for UPEX to USD. Ways to earn UPEX in Upland. This is what you're looking for. Players can earn UPEX through various in-game activities, but not limited to a property rent, missions and achievements, providing... Oh... That's, it's given us two. I mean, technically, it's not wrong. Though it's technically correct, it's given me a very short answer. So the standings for this round are going to sit at nine to three. Challenge five, Upland community and social features. How does Upland encourage social interactions between players? Name at least two community-driven events or competitions that Upland has hosted and explain the significance of collections and their impact on the Upland community. So this one, I'm looking for neighborhood ratings. I'm looking for something like road trip event, anything sort of event related that Upland's hosted and how Upland encourages social interaction. So property, uh, adding in the in-game -game messaging was a huge thing. So property visits, yep, that's true. Community chat, collection collaborations, community events, social media integration, all very true. Great point to chat GPT there. Community driven events and competitions, not quite what I was looking for. Property development contests, this is true. I'm gonna give the point here uh, to chat GPT because it knows quite a bit about what it's talking about with the property development contests. Those are normally held only within Discord for it to be able to pick up on that information is quite significant. Significance of collections in Upland, community engagement, social collaboration, competitive spirit, property value boost, thematic content, collections have specific themes or concepts, and summary collections in Upland not only provide additional gameplay objectives, but also serve as a catalyst for social interactions. I'm gonna give it all three points there, bringing ChatGPT up to 12 points. It's now sitting 12 to three. Challenge six, Upland avatars and customization. Describe the process of creating and customizing avatars in Upland. What are Upland wearables and how do they enhance the gaming experience? There are two ways in which players can earn or acquire wearables for their avatars. This, I'm mainly looking about the Ready Player Me or whatever it's called in Upland where you are able to create your 3D character. Hopefully about the new wearables that came in with the newest event, uh, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Three questions, let's see how many points they get. Creating and customizing avatars in Upland. True, it doesn't mention, however, the company wearable inventory store all their acquired wearables, kind of. It does not mention that they are NFTs. It's half right, so we're not going to give it the point here. So what is the impact of Upland wearables? Upland wearables are cosmetic items that players can equip to avatars, which is true. Play a significant role in the gaming experience by... That's not what I'm looking for, chat GPT. You're giving me... Right. I mean, it's not quite the answer I was looking for, but it is true. We're going to give it the point there. Ways to earn or acquire wearables. Players can earn or acquire wearables in the following ways. In-game store and events and achievements. It is true. Uh, there are going to be a lot more ways, but currently there exists none, so ChatGPT wouldn't know that. Let's give it the point there. Final score at the moment is 14 to 4. So ChatGPT isn't getting a whole lot wrong. It's doing pretty good here. Challenge 7. Upland Future Development. What are some upcoming features or improvements planned for Upland? Name at least two ways in which players can provide feedback and suggestions to the Upland development team. 
and mention one recent update or enhancement that has been implemented in Upland. Now this is supposed to be the hardest question yet because if it can get the most recent implement, JotGBT is probably a pretty accurate source to use for a lot of Upland information, as long as you can refine it if you know what's fake. Right, so it's given us the first as an AI language model, I don't have real time access to the latest updates or future development plans. However, staying informed about upcoming features, players can, through the following channels, official websites, social media, community forums, but no links or anything. It's all true. We'll get the point there. Providing feedback and suggestions, in-game feedback, community forums, social medias. Again, no quite official names. It doesn't mention Discord or Reddit. It doesn't even bring up Upland's website. It's, it's hard to give it the point here. As of my last update, I do have specific information. I do, oh, as of my last as of my last update, I do not have specific information on the most recent updates or enhancements implemented by Upland. And for the latest information, I recommend visiting the site. So it's definitely not got the point there. And it gave me some weak answers here. So I'm going to have to give it zero points this round. For knowing about the future of Upland and knowing how to leave feedback and stay informed, it gives you a vague idea, but this is fairly common sense. So I'm going to have to give ChatGPT the zero out of three there, leaving the final score of ChatGPT getting six wrong. Anyways, that'll do it for this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe and there's going to be tons more content like this in the future.